Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how you could uninstall and downgrade from iOS 15 beta and back into iOS 14. This video is for those people who have installed the developer version of iOS 15 on their phones and want to go back to iOS 14 without losing any of the data. Now, some people just like me may have gotten too excited and went ahead and installed this and then later on found out that there have been reports of glitches and because it's not 100% stable, there are chances that you may end up losing all of your data. In order to avoid that, what we're going to be doing today is actually downgrading back to iOS 14, which was the original software running on the iPhone right now. A few things that you will need is going to be a computer, a laptop of any sort. If you have a Windows, that works as well. If you have a Mac, that works as well. But if you have a Windows, then you're going to have to go ahead and install iTunes. If you're on a Mac, then you don't need to install anything separately. It will work just fine with any Mac device. And you're also going to be needing a cable, which you can plug into your iPhone as well from your Mac. Now, the first thing that I did is connect my iPhone to my Mac and I want to make sure that it actually recognizes the phone on the Mac. That's really important because if it doesn't, then this is not going to work properly. The second thing that you're going to do is go to a website, which I'm going to be linking down below. This website actually contains the IPSW downloads for iPhones and other devices. Now, what we're going to do is choose our phone. I am running the iPhone XS. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the iPhone XS. And then after that, I'm going to go here and I'm going to choose iOS 14.6. Now this may change. So previously you had iOS 14.5. Right now the latest is 14.6. By the time you see this video, it may be 14.7 or later. So you just want to make sure that you click on the latest one that's available right now. One more thing that you want to do just before you install the update is that go into your settings and make sure that you don't have any profiles. So if we go to general, you'll normally see if you have the iOS 15 profile, you'll see it over here. Now, I don't see anything here. I don't see any profile or anything of that sort. But if you do, make sure you delete it before you install the software that you're downloading the iOS 14. Now, this is quite a large file. As you can see here, it's 6.57 GB. Now, if this button doesn't work, you can see this message that reads if the download button above doesn't work you can copy the download url to your clipboard below and if we do that we're just going to simply click copy it open a new window and then paste it over here that's going to ask you to make some preferences you're just going to click on allow and your download is going to start so once you have downloaded the update what you're going to do is you're going to go into finder and access your iphone from here it's very important that you do this and if you don't have a macbook then you you have to download iTunes and then access your iPhone from here. And there's one important thing that you're going to do here. If you have a MacBook, you have to press the options button. And then once you do that, then go ahead and press check for update. You're going to then be able to find the file that you downloaded and you're going to click here. And now it's going to ask you to install. You're going to go ahead and it's going to start downloading on your phone. Now, once that's done, you will get a message which says your Mac will update your iPhone to iOS 14.6 and will verify the update with Apple. What you're gonna do is click on update and it will begin updating your phone. You can now see that my phone has restarted and it started the update. So once the update is done, I'll show you guys that this has now gone back to iOS 14.6. All right, so you guys can see that my iPhone has now been reset and uh, you can see here that it says software update complete. Your iPhone has now been updated to iOS 14.6. We're gonna go ahead, do the formalities, agree, yes, okay, software update complete. All right, there it is. So you can see software version is 14.6. I downgraded from the beta version. And if we go back and look at the software update, you'll be able to see that we do have the iOS 15 developer beta. So this is currently not installed anymore. And if we want to, we can still go ahead and download and install and then try it out again. But if you do wanna downgrade back to iOS 14.6, which is the original one and the latest iOS version that's running right now, these are the steps. If you follow them correctly, if you do exactly like I said, you should not have a problem and it's pretty straightforward. If this video was helpful, please remember to drop a like. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.